Now we look to Maui after the town was devastated by fires in early August. They are now slowly trying to reopen to tourists and restart their local economy. Jeremy Lee has the details. Here in Kanapali, to the north of Lahaina town, it's something of a world unto itself as resort after resort lines the shore. But you don't have to look very far to see evidence of the ongoing recovery. In Kanapali, across from the Sheraton in West Maui, this distribution site is still operational. The beaches in Kanapali and even to the north in Kapalua aren't exactly packed, but an active tourist economy is restarting in West Maui once more. You could hear the live music over the weekend at the Hula Grill as outdoor diners flock to the restaurant and to Leilani's on the beach in Whaler's Village. The sight of boats and visitors on strolls taking photos of the Kanapali sunset. In Whaler's Village, evidence of a slow reopening is apparent as several shops remain shuttered. Some businesses in Honokovai have been open since August. At the Honokovai Food Truck Park, Raul Cruz told KITV4 it's been slow going compared to how it used to be. Probably from like 800 to 1,000 people a night between you know tourists and local people. And right now we have about 20, maybe 30 the most. We just need to keep moving forward. I understand that a lot of people are um, having issues with opening, but we need to survive. It's the only way. You know, Hawaii or the island is, is led by tourism. So we need, to, we need to keep opening. At Whaler's Village, there's a sign with a QR code alerting visitors to be mindful of the local recovery effort and even connect visitors with volunteer opportunities. KITV4 spoke to a shuttle operator in Whaler's Village. We asked, is it busy? Busy perhaps wouldn't be the right word. It's steady, the driver said. Reporting from Kanapali, Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News, 